Our housing estate program is private sector driven and is coming about. Economic empowerment. I would say that this is one area we can score ourselves very, very high, you know, in our administration because this is, you know, one of the covenants that God gave to us. We've been able to empower 1,000 youth with 250,000 naira each. It's grant, it's not loan. We've been able to empower 4,000 widows with 100,000 each. It's grant, it's not loan. The beauty is that we train these youth, we train the widows, and today we have huge success stories about the breakthrough through this empowerment. A lot of our youths now have things they are doing with their hands. And this is a success story for us. We have 300 widows that we are paying 20,000 naira every month. We have bought 400 tricycles. And we give to our brothers and sisters that are doing Okada in Onicha, in Anambra State. We have given grant of 140 million naira to our brothers and sisters that are doing hawking in Lagos Street. And the quite a number of them is off Lagos Street today and they are doing meaningful things with their hands. We have also last two weeks empowered about 403 women with 86 million grants. We train these women. 80% of them are not Ebonians. But our belief is that so far you are in a Ebony state, you are an Ebonian. And what we have done is that so far you will take this factory or industry or your business in a Ebony state, you will get our support. And of course, I've mentioned the 50 million welfare program of Fadawali. We have secured 4 billion. We put 2 billion down, money we saved, and we borrowed 2 billion from Bank of Industry. We have a program together that we call Ebony State BOI Fund. And this money is for Ebonians and non Ebonians that are resident in Ebony State. If you have any business proposal you, you have, you can assess this fund with 6% interest for a maximum of five years, a maximum of five years, provided the industry or factory or business will be here in a bunch state. If you are not a bunny man, a bunny man by, by, by bed, it doesn't matter. You are an Ebonian, so far you're here. You're under our care. And we also looked at civil servants. Definitely, the pay package of our civil servants all over the country is a pitiable situation. And we believe that the economy is troubled. And the essence of civil servants is to work. And what do you work if 90% of the funds we are earning from federation account is used to pay salary. So I term is social security. So to balance the situation, we now feel that the, the excess time of our civil servant could be used in doing agricultural business. And so we've been able to save two billion. And graciously, Bank of Industry, the first of its kind of a program in this country, was able to give a loan of two billion. And by 6th of June, this funds is going to be disbursed to our civil servants. We already have over 500 cooperative societies. We reduced registration of cooperative societies to just 5,000 naira. And the time to get registered to 24 hours. And so with this, our civil servants, 10 persons per cooperative, over 5,000 is going to be benefiting the first phase of this program. And I'm happy the civil servants are very excited about this. And we have engaged over 500 of our youth as technical assistant and senior technical assistant to the governor. What is our aim? Our aim is that it's better to get our youth to learn the act of governance and also learn the act of doing things with their hands. And these people are earning between 150,000 to 200,000 per month. And a lot of them, through this fund, been able to establish businesses of their own. And we've also aggregated them, and we are giving them also the Anko Borrowers Fund to assist them to do agribusiness. We have also raised the traditional rulers' council's salary from 10,000 to 100,000 per month. We bought over 130 
vehicles, SUVs, jeeps to our traditional rulers. It's only in Ebony State you will see every traditional ruler that is going with a jeep. And so it's become fashionable to be a traditional ruler in Ebony State. When we came on board in December of 2015, we paid the 13th month which means 100% of basic salary and the allowances to our civil servants. Subsequent months, we had paid 50% of their basic salary in January to assist them to cushion the effects of harshness of the month of January. Today, we are going to be flagging off 10 million per community project to 140 communities of Ibony State. The idea is that the traditional rulers the, uh, the town union president, we form a committee. We indicate project of their choice. The local government will also form committee. They will form tenders board. They will evaluate it. But the community people will do the project. And this we are going to flag off here today. The funds are ready. We've trained youth in Abuja on horticulture. We've trained youth on agriculture and civil works. When you come to Bonny State, you will be able to find out that Bonny State is a construction site. Everywhere you turn to, you will see a lot of our people working. And let me also emphasize that 95% of our projects are indigenous. We've reduced capital flight to over 95%. And this gives me joy. Let me also say that the youths are also exposed to two billion Uncle Borrower scheme, thanks to the federal government and CBN governor, Minister of Agriculture, Minister of Finance. We also have currently eight billion loan that we are giving to Ebonians to assist them in agricultural program at nine percent. On the issue of welfare, I have mentioned the issue of fifty million on welfare department. The most significant aspect of this welfare department is the issue of Ezilo, Ezilo, the peace that has returned. Your witnesses that Ebony State in the past administration was turned to a pool of blood and curses came upon the land. A lot of people were killed in the crisis, unfortunate and avoidable crisis in Ezilo and it had political undertone. And so when we came on board, the first thing because we had promised, and we got on our side, we went to Ezilo and planted a tree of peace. And we followed up in making peace with the Azai Zilo, who had settled in that place over 100 years back, and the Ezilo indigents. And today, it is no victor, no vanquish. We created two autonomous communities, Amen's autonomous communities for Ezilo people, and the Iso Autonomous Community for SR people with 500 hectares of land. And today, last Saturday, there was intermarriage between the new Amanze community and the new Iso community. What a glory to God. Under welfare, we introduce school evangelism and moral instruction. We have ministers of God that go around our primary and secondary schools to inculcate in our people the etiquette of our cultural values, which is honesty, fear of God, and hard work, and commitment to their studies, and believing in God and believing in themselves. This has paid off tremendously, and we've been reaping a lot of success, and we hear testimonies concerning this, and we thank all the coordinators. Time will fail me to mention of the great achievements of Our Excellency's Office, in our paid project of soccer. But today we've been able to reduce, if not totally eliminated, genital mutilation of our female sisters and daughters in a born state. This she has been able to do through the enactment of law through the House of Assembly, and I thank the House for this. Also child abuse, child trafficking, and other molestation of women are also prohibited through the law that she enacted. And this, we are grateful to her for very supportive role she's playing.
the Border Peace and Conflict Resolution and Welfare Department have also mediated aggressively together with the security agencies and the HAC on our conflict of farmers and herdsmen. Probably, I have a better story to tell of this. In the Office of Women Affairs and Social Development, we have sensitization program of female genital mutilation under my wife's office, supervised also together with the Women Affairs Ministry. We have been able to provide, you know, over 500 pieces of hair dryers to assist our women to establish, you know, businesses of their own, distributed wrappers to 13 local government of over 20,000 wrappers, trained and empowered 140 caregivers and 350 adolescents.